times in the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Shri Golgovinda Swami and also in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru and Sanyas Guru Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Parivraj Gacharya Skotara Sato Sishimad Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and also to all Sanyasi Gan all Brahmachari Gan all devotees and Vaishnavis who are assembled here today. So, the story of Shakata Sura is a story of which shows actually the opulence of Krishna. Although Krishna is in Vrindavan, so much opulence is in him that it's covered by sweetness. So this is what Bhakti Maharaj wanted to hear from Shukadeva Goswami. This pastime shows how Krishna's small legs were so powerful. In the previous pastimes, we saw how Krishna's lips were very powerful. And in the next pastime, Shivata, shows how Krishna's hands are very powerful. So, Krishna was about, after two and a half months, about to turn on his own body, turn around, turn out, turn, turn over and raise, trying to. Then when Yashoda saw how his beautiful, her beautiful sons were about to do this, she immediately became overjoyed and she wanted to take her son and gave him a great celebration on this occasion and on that occasion called Uttana they bathed Krishna and she gave her breast milk and as Krishna was beginning to sleep she put him on the cord that she made under the cart and uh, to protect Krishna from any outside dangers and she also to make sure that her boy would sleep carefully and without disturbance. She also lied down with him and slowly, slowly, as Krishna was going into sleep, she stood up and she came out of the cart. As many Rajagopis were coming, many Brahmanas were chanting hymns in celebration of this great festival, Uttana, and also uh, professional musicians were playing a great festival began and kirtans was going on and Yashoda was taking care of all the guests who were coming one after the others. She was present, doing pleasantry with ones, giving charities with others, so many gifts to brahmanas and there was like a very great pleasurable situation, atmosphere in Braj. Krishna felt that he was missing because the whole occasion was for his, uh, actually, his himself. So he started to cry. Why am I not involved, in, included in this festival? But crying was not sufficient because Kirtan was going on very loudly. So he couldn't be heard by Yashoda Meya. He was crying loudly, loudly, but nothing would happen. At that time, Yoga Maya, knowing Krishna's desire, she inspired in Kamsa's heart the desire to send a great Asura. His name was Shakatasura, and uh, you may know Shakatasuras. He was previously the son of Hiranyaksha, big demon. One day he had a body very strong, very <coughs> tall, very, very powerful. Like Mother of Mars. <laughs> and he was so proud of his body. One day he went into the ashram of Lomaharsha Rishi and he destroyed all his gardens, everything he destroyed just by making mischief. So Lomaharsha Rishi, he cursed him. He said, You will lo lose your body, your body should vanish. <coughs> and then has. Uh, Uchkat, Uchkash, his name was Uchkash, yeah? wow. 
body was vanishing. You realize how? What meaning? Namchila Utkoch. Acha. Go on, please. Go on. He's realized how great an offenses he had committed in the Lord's feet of Lomaharshi Rishi. So he begged for forgiveness, and Lomaharshi Rishi said, okay. That was in Satya Yuga. In Dwapara Yuga, when Krishna will appear, you will be delivered by his lotus feet, by the touch of his lotus feet. So then, Shankatashura came in Vrindavan at that right time where Krishna was crying. And he was thinking, all the demons who came before me, they had bodies, physical bodies, so they, were, they could be spotted and recognized, so they were easily killed. But me, without body, nobody will uh, distinguish. So I have a chance to uh, succeed in my mission. So he went directly to the cart, and he was seeing all kinds of utensils on the cart, silver, puja, items, and uh, different paraphernalia in gold, and milk products, so many pots. And he thought, if I become one with the cart, like uh, Tadatnik, then the pressure of my huge body will crash, will uh, decrease, uh, will bring down the cards onto Krishna and will kill him. So Krishna at that time, he saw, oh, this is Kamsa's, my maternal uncle friend, he's like my uncle. So he became very happy. And he shows, he manifests his happiness by throwing his legs in the air. And the cart was coming down slowly, slowly, so it, his legs were very short and his, his foot were like leaves and very soft also. He didn't have to take a body like Nushinga Dev to kill Yuranika Shipu or to make an avatar like Bamana Dev to uh, cross the universe. He just threw his small legs in the air and he touched the cart. At that time, all the stencils and all and this Shakatashula flew in the air and the cart was completely dismantled. Axles and all the wheels. wheels were coming here and there in two sizes. Krishna was not actually injured and nobody was injured around. When they heard that big noise, oh everybody became very, very worried. Yashodameya came and all it, her associates came and they tried to find out what happened. And they looked and they couldn't see anything. What happened? So the little boys were there and they tried to convey to Yasoda and Nanda Maharaj what happened. And they were saying, Go, 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 Papa Mar, go, 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 Papa the cards <laughs> like that. So they thought, all oh, this child, 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 they don't know what they're talking about. This is childish thoughts. So they discarded, and they re they were thinking maybe this bad planet has influenced at that time the whole heavens. So we should do a sacrifice like a ceremony, and they brought some brahmanas and cow calf and cow, and with the black tail of a cow, 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 they smeared Krishna's body all over. In this way, everything came into uh, calm again, and Krishna got to be in Mordo Yashoda's laps, and circle rest again. Thank you very much. Well. The purport of this story is very, very Rahasyapurna. Mysterious. Mysterious. You know, we can put so many things in cart and then bulls carrying. So anyone reading all kinds of Shastra, Mahabadi Shastra, Bhagavad Shastra and all others. 
they <coughs> if they had reading all but not following ends sadachar and bhakti then what is this this is like only a burden <coughs> the purport of reading and hearing all shastra bhagavat and other how to be bhakti and how we can cross endless pain of endless birth death and how krishna bhakti will come this is main thing but they lose the cart ups go ups down what bhakti goes away and that person is killed like saktasur means they will be diverted from oh, bhakti and krishna i mean bhakti for always then another after 100 days after another happening was done ಗುರುದೇ ಔ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾರ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪ್ರಿರಾಜಕ ಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತೌ ಥರ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಗ್ರಂಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಅವ್ ಲವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಲೀಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಔನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾರ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪ್ರಿರಾಜಕ ಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತೌ ಥರ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ ದಿ ಫಿಲಂದಿ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಗೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ ದಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ದ ಗೌರಿಸ್ ಅಬ ಲೋರ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಗುರುದೇ ಹಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಸುರ ಟ್ರಿನ ಬ್ರಾತ and he has explained that 100 days later after this past time of shakata sura that we just heard that the demon trinavrata appeared in braj krishna he was approximately 1 years old and he had a desire to fly he'd seen the birds flying around and he had a desire in his heart to fly and his ichamaya shakti yoga maya she always always wanting to fulfill every desire of her lord so she allowed the demon trinavrata to come into vrindavan and krishna was sitting on the lap of his mother happily but then he knew that trinavrata was about to appear so he didn't want to discomfort his mother by having her also taken by this whirlwind demon trinavrata so he became very very heavy like a mountain and mother yashoda was feeling what is happening to my child why is he so heavy like this but she couldn't hold him any more so she very carefully put him down but she became worried perhaps my son has been invaded by some a uh, ghost or whatever some curse because of his weight so she went and called some brahmanas to perform some sacrifice to relieve her son of this curse that she was thinking and while the brahmanas they came straight away they began to perform a purificatory sacrifice to relieve krishna of this curse that they were imagining that he had and at that time mother yashoda she was looking to vaikuntha and she was praying to lord narayan please protect my son please protect my son so we should understand all these past times of these different demons coming into vrindavan is to show also the extremity of affection that the prajapasis have for the darling lala shri krishna and all of krishna's past times that we're hearing are stirring the different um, rasas within vrindavan between krishna and the brijabasis and this is what we hear and we can drink this mood deeply by hearing these beautiful sweet pastimes 
So when Trinavrata finally appeared, Krishna made himself so light. Previously he'd been so heavy, now he became so light by his Aishwarya Shakti. He, he manifested himself as very light. And Trinavrata, in the form of a whirlwind, he came with so much dust and all the grass was uh, pulled up around. And there was a huge whirlwind. And Mother Yashoda, she couldn't see at that time. Sand was in her eyes and all the bridge Vasis became blinded. And actually this is the um, teaching also of this demon Trinavrata, that he is uh, represented as a cloud of um, useless debate or logical argument or speculation. This is the um, uh, example but by Trinavrata. So Krishna was lifted up into the sky, so light. And he was enjoying the scenery very much with Trinavrata, hanging onto his neck. He also wanted to give his darshan to the ladies of Swarga. He also understood he should give some darshan there. So Krishna was smiling very beautifully, having a joyous ride. Meanwhile, of course, Mother Yashoda was on the ground lamenting like a cow that had lost her calf. She was completely beside herself because she couldn't find Krishna. But then after some time, Krishna decided he'd had enough. And then he became heavier than Trinavrata, and then even more heavier. And at that time, Trinavrata, he tried to pull Krishna's hands away from his neck. But Krishna strangled Trinavrata. He strangled this demon. And that demon fell like a stone onto the ground and fell on a stone slab. And miraculously, the Brijabhasis thought how Krishna was saved. Krishna was just walking around, sitting on the chest of that enormous demon. And the elderly gopis, Mother Yashoda, she was too distraught to even actually go and find him. She, she couldn't move, she was so um, in anxiety about her son. So then the elderly gopis, they found her, found Krishna, and brought him back to Mother Yashoda. At that time, Mother Yashoda was so relieved and satisfied and immediately put, her, put Krishna on uh, her lap and gave him her breast milk. So this is the pastime of Trinavrata, the whirlwind demon who came into Vrindavan. Very good. <laughs> the purport of this Trinavrata that in Andhi Storm. Storm. Sandstorm. Eh? Sandstorm. 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 Sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. <laughs> Dust of earth flies everywhere. And if it goes in eyes, then be men become like blind and doing like that. What is this? Like Sharvak in India, there was this person whose name was Sharuvak. All used to hear him very well. And he used to tell, Ridam Kritva Kritam Pive. Javad Jivet Sukham Jivet. That is meaning. <laughs> You should take lend, you can borrow money, borrow money. <laughs> borrow money from anyone, and buy greet, ghee, and take it. <laughs> Very testful things. But uh, you should know that. After death, you will have not to pay that money. So don't pay money for that. So you should also drink alcohol that in such a such a quantity, quantity that you should fall down on earth and dogs can wash your mouth. <laughs> No harm. P P P P P P Jeep Harke P Jab Nayra Pij Ko Jeep on Kaiga Pij.
So these are like that, more dangerous. Bhagavad. Oh, world is zero. We are zero. Nothing. And in the end we will be mixed in zero. We will be zero. No God, no Shastra, nothing. I see nowadays, in ancient days, from India, Sankaracharya and others kicked out this Bodhism. Bodhism. And it went to Japan, Sheen and other it countries. Bangkok, other Thailand. Huh? But not in India. I see now again in whole world by their yukti argument. argument. They make persons blind to think and they neglect bhakti. So we should be very careful. Also, mayabad sarvam khalitam brahma. What you see, everything is brahma. You are brahma, myself brahma. Then who is crying? Why crying? If suffering coming? Brahma never cries for that. He is above all these things. So we should not be, we should not try to follow all these things. So these are trinavarta, the dust of so many bad religions. Then Krishna now began to walk with Baldev on Ghutaru, on, on the legs and hands. On, on fours. On fours. On all fours. On food. Four, four, F-O-U-R, char. On fours. Eh. <laughs> like and David. They used to go to door and sing anyone. They used to follow them. And when they knew, oh, this is not my father or mother, and then at once, as if feared, and they began to run up to their mothers. Mothers used to take them in lap. Sometimes, They used to take the tail of coughs and cough begins to run, run away very fast. And they were holding, the holding very fast. And then, oh, that cough going here and there in gober, cow, cow dung, and cow urine. urine. And Mothers clapping and other gopis and so much laughing. Sometimes they used to go very big, big bowls and they used to hold their horn. horns. Oh, what they are doing, mother? Thinking. Anyhow, they go, used to go and take the boy. Sometimes playing with Dog. Dangerous dogs, their uh, their very dangerous. Hmm. Once Krishna Baldev were playing out of his, their house, there was a bush full of thrones. Hmm. And they saw in the midst of that thrones that the beautiful flower. Then Krishna and Baldev, especially Krishna, he wanted to take that flower. Anyhow, he entered, he entered that inside the bush. Bo bush, bush, and he took the flower. But in the meantime, the thrones came down, and there was no way to come, come out. out. And then he began to weep very loud. <laughs> And then Mother Jasodha came. No, 
what are you doing how you entered this not the boy so in this way so many things sometimes some gopi used to take the darshan of krishna and baldev one gopi being in the side of krishna and one on the side of baldev if you should wrestle we want to see and if any you will won i will give this laddu to you and other party you to tell if baldev prabhu baldev dau if wins then we will give laddu then krishna and baldev a oh, very small boys began to wrestle <laughs> and gopi clapping sometimes gopi you to tell them oh bring that pidhi pidhi means wooden seat but wooden seat and krishna used to go and to bring but he could not lift it up he can lift govardhan but not pidhi sometimes any gopi you to tell oh bring this suit of your father your father khadau sandal wooden sandal and he used to go there and take on the head coming in this way this ball lila were going on now he became more aged aged now he made so many friends the sons of all gopis big party and they used to go to steal butter now in the houses of gopis sometimes gopis they you they used to pray that krishna should come in my house but openly not if krishna going and taking butter that then the grah swamini the house for lady house of lady you to come and what are you doing i'm searching my cough oh where is your cough oh perhaps he had jumped in this jar oh your cough will jump in this jar how oh see and he gave his hand and brought a marvel <laughs> <laughs> because nand baba has given him to play sometimes krishna used to go and telling the son of that gopi owner of the house oh go and untie the cough untie the cough and when cough you to go to his mother cow and then taking milk oh then that very boy his son you to tell, oh mother or oh, the calf is taking milk of cow and at once she you to go there and in the midtime the group of krishna you to enter their houses and taking butter so much some eating some giving to monkey some here and there one day one gopi she red handed caught caught him red handed caught caught him red caught krishna and took his hands in her hands oh in so much early of the morning you are coming here to to still matter today i will take you to mother jasoda and forcibly he took and covered that boy with any cloth and when she went to mother jasoda and telling oh sakhi oh jasoda see how restless your son in so morning in the darkness he went to my house and was stealing butter <coughs> then jasoda maiya told Oh my son is sleeping. Yes, yes, your son is sleeping. Oh, I want to see where is my Krishna. 
and when he opened, oh, he saw that his own son was there. And then Krishna running came, oh mother, they always tell lie, I never go to there. And so they accuse me, but now from now I will go and he still butter from there. In this way, all the gopis used to te tell Mother Jasoda, why? Krishna going there and they become very happy, really. But Jasoda not testing all these things, enjoying to tell them Shiva. And one day what became? Jasoda Ma binded him. Oh, he is going here and there. He will be ruined. What became? And help my pronoun to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So, we have just heard from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev how Krishna, as a small child, he was very restless, very naughty. He would go from house to house performing his naughty activities and stealing butter. Actually, Supreme Lord owns everything. So he cannot steal. But on the pretext of stealing, he was immersing all the residents of Braja in the ocean of bliss. So those residents of Vrindavan, they thought, Oh, Madhya Yashoda, she does not have the opportunity to see these beautiful pastimes of stealing in her own house. So on the pretext of going to Madhya Soda to complain about Krishna, actually they were giving her the opportunity to relish these beautiful pastimes of Krishna. Upon hearing these so-called complaints of her sakis, Madhya Soda thought, why does my son go and take the butter from the houses of others? Is it that he's not satisfied by the butter in my house? Why could it be? Oh, perhaps it's because in my house the servants churn the butter. But I don't do it myself personally. If I were to churn the butter myself personally, then it would be very flavorful. More love. And Krishna would eat this, he would be satisfied, and then he would give up his stealing here and there. So think in this way. On the Diwa Diwali day, the Pavli morning, Yashoda Maya, she rose very early in the morning and she milked the best cow, Padma Ganga, whose milk is so fragrant, it smells like lotus flowers. So taking this very best milk, she made yogurt and she began to churn it and make some butter for Sri Krishna. How beautiful Madhya Shoda was. Her waist is very narrow and her figure very full and she was wearing very, very uh, fine sorry, made of silk. So fine that you can fold it over ten times and still fit it beneath your fingernail. Mm -hmm. Very fine. And her beauty was peeping out from this cloth. And she was churning the yogurt and absorbed in thoughts of her beautiful darling boy and singing his name. Govinda Dhamo Dharma Krishna must go there. Where was he? 
Oh, he had been sleeping in bed with his mother. When she woke up early in the morning, she took the hand of Krishna that was on her body and put it on a pillow. So Krishna sleeping, he will think his mother is still there. And she went away. In the meantime, Krishna, he woke up and was feeling around, but his mother was not there. It was shocking to him. He said, where is my mother? So he got down off the bed, which was quite difficult because he's so small and the bed was high. So he slid down backwards on his belly, onto the ground, and was calling, Oh, Maya! Maya! But there was no response from Madhya Shoda because she was absorbed in chanting his names and churning the yogas. So Krishna was crying, just like a musician. Musicians sing. So Krishna was crying. Maya! 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 <laughs> but no reply. And he came stumbling from the bedroom, quite naked, and rubbing his eyes with his hands and weeping. Tears coming from his eyes. One row of tears like uh, the Jamuna, because it was mixed with the kajal. Madhya Shoda had put very thick kajal on his eyes. And one eye, he rubbed off the kajal, and the tears were coming white. So like Ganges, like Ganga and Jamuna, tears were flowing from Krishna's eyes and down his belly, and he came out of the room looking for his mother. How beautiful. He saw that Madhya Shoda was churning the yogurt, and he came and put one hand on the churning stick. And the, uh, with the other hand, he grabbed her veil, pulled her veil. And all of a sudden, Madhya Shoda saw, Oh, my son is here. And she stopped churning and took the baby Krishna in her arms and gave him her breast milk. And as she looked upon his beautiful face, then Bhakti became Bhakti Rasa. She was absorbed in Bhakti, but taking Krishna in her arms, and she had all sattvic bars. Tears flowing, hair standing on end, eight types of sattvic bath. But for Madhya Shoda, nine. Milk, Krishna has no This milk is flowing from her breast as a sattvic bath. And Krishna was drinking milk, and Madhya Shoda was admiring his beautiful face. But just as this was going on, she saw in another part of the kitchen, there where she had put milk on to boil, the milk was boiling, about to boil over. Why? Because the milk was thinking. Krishna, his belly is so big, it's unlimited. All the millions of universes exist inside the belly of Krishna. So his belly is unlimited. On the other hand, the breast milk of Madhya Shoda is more than Kirsagar, the ocean of milk. Because this is not milk, this is what? Vatsalya Prem. Her Vatsalya Prem is unlimited. It will never run out and Krishna's belly will never be full. So this business of drinking Madhya Shoda's milk, it will go on forever. And when will I get the chance to do some service? Hmm? I'm cow's milk. When will I get the chance to do some service? So the milk was lamenting. Alas, alas, if I have no opportunity to render loving service to Sri Krishna, there's no need to stay alive. Like Sri Lanarkan Das Thakur, his son. Kenova achaye prana. Kisuka lagiyo, naratamo dasa keno, nagelo moriyo. Oh, what is the use of staying alive? If I have no inclination to do bhajan to Sri Krishna, then what happiness is there in this life? Better to die. So at once, the milk, on the pretext of boiling over, was committing suicide by jumping out of the pot and into the fire. So then Maria Shoda, Seeing the milk was boiling over, she put down Krishna to go and take care of the milk. So we heard yesterday how Krishna, when he was only six days old, Putana tried to put him down. Oh, child, leave me. But even though she had the strength of 10,000 elephants, she could not put down Krishna. But now Madhya Shoda, she wanted to put down Krishna. And Krishna was holding with both arms, both legs, and with his mouth like a monkey. And with all of his strength, he was trying to hold on. But very easily, Madhya Shoda said, oh, Baito, sit down. Yeah. And put him down with one hand and went to take care of the milk. So here, Madhya Shoda, she gave up her direct service to Krishna to go and take care of someone else who was 
hankering to have a chance to serve Krishna. Sri Yashoda, she is very kind and very merciful. How? Like Srila Gurudev. The sad guru, he has no need of anything. Absorbed in the sweet pastimes of Radha and Krishna and always serving the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. But seeing the living entities of this world, how they're sad, how they're suffering. He for, momentarily puts aside his direct bhajan to Radha and Krishna and goes to help them and give them a chance to do service. So Madhya Yashoda was thinking, from my breast milk, I cannot make the uh, sweet rice, I cannot make yogurt, I cannot make so many preparations that Krishna loves. So I will go and take care of this milk. She sprinkled some water on the milk and the, it stopped boiling over. In the meantime, Krishna was angry, barking his lips and stamping his feet. I was not satisfied yet. I have not finished drinking. Why did she put me down? Okay, now I'll teach her a lesson. Hmm? So then Krishna, he took a pestle uh, 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 for grinding spices in his hand, stone pestle, and he approached the big pot of yogurt that Madhya Shoda had been churning. Now, if you will break the top of the pot, nothing will happen. But he took the pestle and threw it at the bottom. Making a hole in the bottom of, the, of that vessel of yogurt, what happened? Because of pressure, the yogurt went <laughs> spraying out all across the kitchen floor. Krishna looked, oh, how beautiful. Yogurt <laughs> spraying everywhere. Hmm? And he was very happy. But then the next moment, Sri Krishna thought, oh, if my mother comes and sees this, I'll be in trouble. So it's time to leave the scene of the crime. And Krishna, he left that place and went into the next room. So Madhya Shoda, after taking care of the milk, she came back and saw that that vessel was broken, yogurt was everywhere, and she could understand, well, who could have done this? Of course, my naughty boy. Now where has he gone? So Krishna, his Supreme Lord, He's omniscient, he knows everything. But in Vrindavan, he's playing like an ordinary boy. And he couldn't he thought that he would run and hide from Madhya Shoda. But he did not understand that it was not a good idea to walk through the yogurt. And Krishna had walked through the yogurt and left the trail of yogurty footprints leading directly to where he was going to uh, escape. So Madhya Shoda looked and saw the beautiful lotus footprints of Sri Krishna in fresh yogurt <laughs> leading to the next room. So she, she went there, she followed the footprints, opened the door and looked. And she saw Krishna had climbed on the top of a grinding mortar and he was reaching up and taking butter and feeding this butter to a group of monkeys and to crows as well. So Madhya showed her thought, oh, he's so naughty I'll punish him. And she took a stick in her hand. Now why was Krishna feeding monkeys and feeding crows? Because in a previous incarnation as Lord Ramachandra, Lord Ram took help of so many monkeys to build a bridge going to Lanka. But at that time, staying in the forest, he had no opportunity to uh, feed them and take care of them. So now in this incarnation, oh, that very Lord Ram, in his original form of Sri Krishna, Bala Gopal, he was taking the yogurt and feeding those monkeys. And also the crows. They are in the they are the descendants of Kaku Bushandi, who also helped Lord Ram. So Krishna was happily feeding them with his back towards the door. Madhya Shoda taking a stick in her hand began to sneak up on Krishna. You know, cats cats know the art of how to walk even on dry leaves in such a way that it will not even make a rustling sound. So Madhya Shoda, with a stick in her hand, she began to walk like a cat to sneak up on Krishna from behind. But as she approached Krishna, Krishna was feeding the monkeys and crows. The, Krishna's facing this way, Madhya Shoda's behind. But the monkeys and crows are facing that way. They can see Madhya Shoda coming. So the monkeys began to run away, the crows began to fly away, and Krishna said, hey, come back. Yeah? And then he realized, why are they running away? Someone's behind me. <laughs> and quickly looked around, and just as Madhya Shoda was about to grab him, he saw her and jumped down from the grinding water and ran away. So Madhya Shoda, she tried to chase him, but she is a little healthy, as they say in India. And Krishna was running in a zigzag way, 
Here, so Mother Yashoda could not catch him. So then Krishna thought, oh, he saw another door leading out into the main, uh, into the road. So Krishna thought, if I go outside, then Mother Yashoda will not come because a Vedic lady, she will not go out into a public place without putting on all uh, clothes and ornaments. So Krishna thought, I'll go outside, Mother will be shy, she will not chase me. So Krishna ran outside. Mother Yashoda came to the door, she thought, oh, she didn't go outside. And she looked around, made sure that no one was looking, <laughs> and anyway she ran after Krishna. So she was running after him. Hey, come here. Who, who broke the pot of yogurt? Krishna said, oh mother, you have done it. You wear very big ankle bells, and when you got up to take care of the milk, you hit the pot and you broke the pot. Then Mother Yashoda said, who was, who was feeding the monkeys? Krishna said, he who creates the monkeys, feeds the monkeys. Hmm? Mother Yashoda said, Barbara, you're going to talk to the boy? Hmm? You're a thief, you're a chore. Krishna said, I'm a chore? Hmm. I think that in my dynasty, there's no chore. Perhaps in your dynasty, there's a chore. Why? Once Krishna overheard that his parents were speaking, and in Madhya Yashoda's dynasty, she has an ancestor, and his name was Chor Ghosh. So when Madhya Yashoda said, you are a chore, Krishna said, there's no chore in my dynasty, <laughs> maybe in your dynasty there's a chore. <laughs> and Krishna, being very cheeky to his mother, again ran away. So she was chasing him, and chasing him, and just when she was getting close, she took the stick in her hand, and went as if she was about to beat him. And Krishna flinched like this, oh mother, don't beat me, and put his hand up. And at once, with her left hand, she caught Krishna's right hand. And she had a stick in her right hand. And now she caught Krishna. So Lord Brahmaji, in Brahma Samhita, he said, Pantastu koti shata sam vatsara sam pragamyo. Even yogis, munis, rishis, they meditate for thousands of years. They can fly in the sky, they can travel at the speed of the wind, at the speed of mind even. But even if they were to travel at the speed of mind for thousands of years, they could not catch, they could not touch even the tip of the toe of Govinda Dev. Yet Madhya Yashoda, very easily, she caught Krishna. So her bhakti is so great that it's by this power she captured Sri Krishna. So catching his right hand in her left hand and holding a stick like this, Krishna was afraid and he began to run behind her legs so that she couldn't uh, hit him. And seeing the fear in Krishna's eyes, Madhya Yashoda thought, oh, I should, I should throw away this stick. Because if I traumatize him too much, he may grow up to be maladjusted. And so she, took this, she threw the stick away. Seeing the fear in Krishna's eyes, Apana samsitin goran, yanna ma viva so grinan, tatasa dyo vimucheta yad vibeti, swayam vayam. Fear personified is afraid even of the name of Krishna. But Krishna himself is afraid of Madhya Yashoda. So Madhya Yashoda thought, what should I do? If I don't punish him for his misbehavior, when he grows up, he may become a dacoit and be very misbehaved. But if I punish him, perhaps he'll run away from home. So I should, she had an idea. The grinding mortar that Krishna was standing on was his accomplice in his crime. So I should punish both of them by tying them together. Then Krishna, he won't be able to go here and there and create mischief. So she brought Krishna inside and she took a rope. And that rope she put around the waist of Krishna and she wanted to tie it. But that rope was two fingers too short. So she took another rope and tied it together and put it around Krishna, again, two fingers too short, another rope, and another, until all the rope in the house, still, it was two fingers too short. She told her sakis, oh, bring rope from your houses. Her friends went and bought ropes from their houses also, and they tied them all together, but every time, the rope was two fingers too short. Why? It means that no one can bind Krishna to understand his Naam, Rup, Gun, or Lila, all are transcendental. But, if one will do sadhan, one will practice sadhan bhakti, hearing, chanting, remembering, under the guidance of bona fide Guru and Vaishnav, then, 
only then was killed not be enough. Why? Because in addition to sadhana, that is one finger, another finger is required. And that is kripa, mercy. So we have to do our sadhana to attract the mercy of Guru and Krishna and seeing how very hard attempts, their hearts are melted and they give mercy. So Madhya Yashoda, she tried again and again to bind Krishna, but it was always two fingers too short. Her face became red. She was tired. Many hours passed. She was embarrassed. She thought, he is my son. He came from my womb. He is not more intelligent than me. I can control him. If I cannot bind him, how will I look at the face of my Sakis? It will be very embarrassing. So she tried again and again. And seeing his mother's hard endeavors, how she was red, how she was sweating, how she was embarrassed, Krishna, his heart melted. So Shukadev Goswami said, Dristva Parishraman Krishna Kripayasit Savandane. Oh, seeing the hard labor of Madhya Shoda by Krishna's desire, at once Jogamaya came there and Madhya Shoda took a rope only from her hair and with one small rope put it around Krishna's waist and tied him. And then after tying him, she went to go and do her other household chores. But in her heart, she was feeling very bad because she was in the dilemma of every parent. If I punish him, oh, it will be painful for me. If I don't punish him, he will not grow up in a good way to be a good citizen. So this will also be painful. So though she gave him punishment by tying him, she went away and she was thinking, oh, I did not want to do this, but I had to do it. Bash. Thank you. After that part happened, Madhu Maharaj will speak. Om Ajnana Timidam Dhasra Janam Jana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpataru Bhascha Pipasin Dubhai Vacha Patitanang Pavane Bho Vishnu Vibho Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances to the Prasvita Vami Paramana to Guru Pad Padma Om Vishnu Pad Astrotar Satasya Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Sri Vaman Goswami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pad, Puribhaja Kacharya Varja, Astrotar Satasimad Bhakti Vedanta Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I pay my obeisances and the lotus feet of my spiritual grandsire, Nittarila Aprishnam Vishnu Pad, Sri Bhakti Pradhyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj, and Nittarila Aprishnam Vishnu Pad, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I pay my obeisances to all Vishnavas and Vishnavis who assembled here to listen to Harikatha from Sri Guru Lotus Leaves, headed by the Sannasis. So, now Mother Yasoda find Krishna. She went for household job. She is thinking, oh, why I did so? In my last age, I got a son. And how may be, I become so cruel? I find him. But if I not do so, then he'll, your character will not be so high. I want him to be a very good boy. Then if if son is very nice, then it's pride for their parents. So mother said, if I not do so, always the neighbors complaining me, and they are complaining again. And he has, I had started to bind me. If I could not do so, then my joke, Sokis will joke with me. So some of others she bind her, him and went to her household job. When Mother Joshua was binding Krishna, Baladev Prabhu was not there. If Baladev Prabhu was supposed to be present there, then it may not really happen. But Krishna is supreme personality Godhead. He accomplished so many tasks by only one task. Why Baladev Prabhu was not there? At that very day, it was birth consideration of Baladev Prabhu. So, Upananda Prabhu, the uncle of Krishna, 
They invite Baladev Prabhu and Rohini Devi to their house. So Baladev Prabhu was not there. So Mother Yasoda asked others of Krishna, okay, are of Krishna, I am going. As soon as Mother Yasoda departed from that place, all Sakha became very happy. And they are teasing Krishna. Oh Kanaya, now what happened? You steal again butter? Look, which you get stealing butter, now you get your salary. And Krishna was joking with them and joking and laughing. When mother was there, all and became silent. No one is there to speak anything. Now, Krishna told, oh, let us go to out, we will play outside. What and became of Baldev? Baldev, no, I will bring all the two on screen. So, Krishna told, let me and you can push. So by this way, we will go outside. First, Sakas tried to untie that. Madhu Mangal came, oh, I untie this. He tried, then Siddham came, Sare, you were not able to do so. He pushed it back, oh, I will do that. So one after another Sokha came, and they are pushing back each other, they could not do. In the meantime, Varadhyay Prabhu came, and seeing Krishna, became very angry, very ferocious. <laughs> Who has tried my brother? Then one Sokha told, Maya. <laughs> Whispering ears. As soon as he soon heard Maya, then he became completely cooled down. 100% cooled down. <laughs> then Krishna is pulling and Sokas are pushing. In the meantime, Jogmaya Devi came in Krishna's mind and reminded something. What? Sattva vidhatum nijabhi bhakta bhasitam. What? Krishna's bhakta tell anything, Krishna always fulfill his bhakta, so keep his bhakta's word. <coughs> Once, Naradrishi was traveling through a forest area. In that forest, there is a very nice lake, very nice water. The heavenly themselves, they are playing with the son of, Nalkub, son, son of Kuber, named Nalkuber and Monikri. And Kuber was devotee. And friend of, an intimate friend of Sankarji. So they are passing water each other, being completely disrupt. When Naradrishi passing through, seeing Naradrishi, the heavenly dancers, they came out from the water and covered themselves with their garment and did pranam from distance. The non and Monikri, they are so much intoxicated, they are abusing the girls and abusing Naradrishi. How? There is no other way to go. How you came here? You came here to die? Now they say, oh, you are so desperate. Now they say, okay. He, then he gives curse to them. Oh, you are like inert, like tree? Okay, you will be tree. So they imitate the pill. Their body became going to be inert. Their conscience going to be covered. They understood this is not an ordinary guy. They completely full flat, full flat on his lotus feet and ask forgiveness. And I was told, what I have told, told, it never be going in vain. So Prabhu, please help us, how we can rescue from this? And now this is told, okay, in coming the upper jug, Supreme Person of God had incarnate in this world and he helped you to deliver from this species. So now this is this to Nalkubar and Monikri. Then Krishna remembered this. Oh, I have to fulfill, I have to keep my devotees award. And why Narasi did so? Because Kubar was a great devotee and friend of Mahadev. So Narasi told, I have to do some benefit for them, this poor guy. So Srimad Bhagavad told, that Janma is Sarajya Sruta Sri Vyeda Mana Madak Puman Naivar Hatta Vidhatun Vai Tamakinchana Gocharam If someone has taken birth in aristocratic family, very high aristocratic family, second one, too much opulence, third one, too much intelligent, like intellectual giant, and very handsome. If four qualities are there, very hard to do bhajan, very hard to obey Guru and Vaishnava. Then they are thinking, oh, 
I know better than anyone. I know better than Gurudev. I know better than Guru Parampara. So it happened for Nalkubar and Monikri. So they became tree, and that Narada Sri told, "You will be the tree twins tree in the courtyard of Nanda Baba." They were there. So when Krishna is pulling the grinder motor, or boys are pushing, when they came there, Krishna come one end, he crossed the tree. And it stuck this way. If in long way, then can go through. But it stuck other way, side way. And he not touch the tree directly. What happened? Krishna is on one side, and Sakha is behind the mortar, and not connection direct with Krishna. Krishna connected with rope, and mortar connected with rope. So Krishna pulled it, and immediate tremendous sound came, and two trees dropped down, uprooted other side, not long way side way. So tremendous sound, all the devas is getting scared. What happened? Maybe any big demon come entered in the broth. All became very holy. They are not thinking that for their own self. They are thinking for Krishna, thinking for Nandalal. Thinking for Jasoda Dulal, what happened for him? All are running towards the sound. Up to now, Krishna was very happy and joking with Sakas and playing, no problem. In the meantime, two demi goddesses came out from the tree and prayed to Krishna, did parikrama and disappeared from that place. Sakas has seen all these things. Hearing the sound, Nanda Baba. I ran towards the sound and found Krishna in bind position. He very easily untied Krishna and took him lap, and then Krishna was sobbing. <laughs> Up to now, he was not weeping at all. Now weeping so louder. When anything happens for small kids, if they are playing, they are not worry. If they saw their parents taking attention, they became. Would be moved to take care of.